Well, hello everybody. I filled that space. That little space that you might have noticed was empty in the last video. I got the blue lantern uh Tom Wiltshire DCO. An interesting digital oscillator. Very interesting. And also up here, which you can barely see behind all of these cables, um, it's a 2 HP, really skinny little dual passive low pass gate. Passive! It doesn't require any power. And that is made by this up and coming Chinese synthesizer genius who spells his name this way. But as far as I know, it's supposed to be pronounced something like Meng Shi. Anyway, um, if I were transliterating that into English, I would have spelled it different. But he's, he's already done it, and it's part of his brand, so he can't change it now. And so people are going to just mispronounce that. Anyway, let's get right into this. The DCO has two outputs. There is a wave and a sub. Interestingly enough, I've discovered that the sub is not always lower than the than the wave output. It's sort of a wavetable oscillator, and you have two different ones to choose from. That's my sub. And um, both of these are being gated by the passive low-pass gate. And the whole patch is, the master clock is Bastel Tromzu over here, which is being modulated. The speed is being modulated by one of these random voltages that's being clocked by a cipher output and the cipher is being clocked by the Tromzu and so is branches. I think branches is triggering these. Anyway, the sub wave, it's kind of like a, it's an 8-bit wave table, and the sub wave is not CV-able. You have to select it with the knob. However, the main wave, there is a CV input to uh, shuffle through the wave table. There's my wave output. And there is a there's a bit selector where you can decrease the bit rate and make the make the DCO sound more squarey and lo-fi. And I really wish there was a CV jack to control that, but there isn't. Anyway, uh, just to liven up this patch a little bit more, I also have plats. And the E950. stops but then it starts back up again I, I don't know quite why it does that I'm feeding it two different LFOs into the data inputs
Right, well, anyway, there you go. Uh, just something kind of random to test out the DCO and the new low-pass gates. I really like them. I didn't think a passive module could sound so good. I mean, this... I have this as a lob passive mixer over here, and there is a noticeable signal drop when I use that. And all of the passive mixers that I built have the same issue. But anyway, there you go. Tested that, and you might also notice that this patch is entirely over here and didn't use anything from this case. So that would be the kind of thing that I'd be able to do on the road if I ever take this stuff out of my house and play it somewhere. That's the dream, you guys. That's still the dream. Anyways, uh, this is long enough, so I'll bid you all adieu. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out my Bandcamp and my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I will catch you next time.